What's new in Luminar AI Update 5 is our topic today on Luminar Coffee Break. Let's see what we can accomplish in 10 minutes or less, starting now. Hello, everyone. Sorry for the late start here. So what we're going to do right now is well, we're going to look at what's new in Luminar AI Update 5. Now, they're just minor changes, so let me pull this up for you to show you. But these minor changes are going to have a really cool impact on the new, on the Sky AI tool. So, one of the main updates right now is with Sky AI, you now have the For This Photo feature that uses content-aware technology um, to recommend the best skies you know, for our images. This technology was really cool when uh, Sky AI added it to, uh, or I'm sorry, to the templates, when the templates would actually look at your image and decide what templates will look best for your image. Well, now the new well, the Sky AI tool has that built right in. So I'm going to show you how we're going to go through all that. All right. And then we also have do camera support. So for those that are um, looking at uh, the, the, the Canon EOS R5 that is now supported, but you can go to our Skylum uh, user manual and you'll find all the listed supported cameras and the new ones that have been added. And then of course there are some minor um, bugs that were fixed. So let's dive right into Luminar here. All right, so here we are. Uh, let, let's start with this image first. All right, and I'm gonna click edit, give it a second to render. So here's the original image. Now before I do any enhancements to it, let's just look at the, at the uh, enhancement on Sky AI. And as soon as that comes down, here we are. And here it is for this photo. So it's giving us suggestions on which clouds will look good for this image. Now, I have to admit, I'm horrible at selecting clouds. So I like that that tool was added in here. So I like what, what it selected, but I'm gonna come up here, apply my Accent AI, and then, oh, here we are, look at that. Enhance it further, and there it is. I mean, look, before and after, there's our image. Let me back it off just a little bit. And of course, I always like to bring out the, uh, the black tones. Here we are. And bring out some of the white. All right. So look at that. In a short time, we were able to enhance this image using the, the new For This Image um, with Sky AI. I, now that did a pretty good job on that image. Let's see what it does to a night sky. Oh man, look at this. So I'm going to come back, adjustment and revert it to original. So here's the original image. Now let's come over here to Sky AI. And I was curious on what it would do with a night sky like this. So let's check it out. We'll come down to Sky AI. Oh, look at it. Already it picks, it's giving us suggestions between these two. And then if you don't like those, you can select one of your own, or you can come over here and go to the marketplace and look for new and more or more skies. So I'm going to click on this guy here. Great. And then once again, further enhance it. that bring out the sky a little more my light tool again bring that in and right about there great all right uh, let's do one more so we did a bright sky we did we did a nice sky a daytime sky a nighttime sky let's look at this because you could go either way um, you know, we, we can make this into a beautiful sunny day or make it look like a dramatic sunset. Let's check it out. 
So give it a second to render. Here we go. Okay, so look, it, it did give us a, a suggestion for a sunset. Let's see how that looks. It, it's good. Uh, let, let's see this one here. I think I'm gonna like the dramatic one better. Yep, I do. All right, I, I just think this one looks a little bit better for this scene. And then once again, enhance. And then bring it out here. And we can go from there. All right, so there we have it. Uh, you know, it's not a huge, it's not a huge change, but minor bug fixes were, were improved. Um, and then that right there shows that the engineers are still developing and working on some of our core features like Sky AI. They're putting a lot of time into that still. So that was something I didn't even think of, you know, a suggestion for the skies. Now, a couple of questions I'd like to ask is, well, that, I know that's working for all the built-in skies. And I'm assuming it's going to work for skies that we purchased. I'm not 100% certain if it'll work on my own skies. So that's something we're going to check with the engineers on to see if it is or if it's something they can add into the future. All right? Well, guys, thank you so much for waiting around. And join me after this for Ask Me Anything. Uh, I'll stick around for five to 10 minutes into the comments and I'll answer any of your questions. You could always check us out on insiders.skylum.com. And in those sessions, we have one-on-one -on -one Zoom meetings to where it's face, to, we see each other face to face and you can actually ask interactive questions verbally instead of typing them in. All right, great. So I'll see you guys at the next coffee break.